I'm back. It's 4.42 p.m. So this video I wanted to talk about targeting individuals and wolfing. You know that program that they call WWOOF? I don't remember exactly what the, ac what the acronym is, but it's um, where you're supposed to volunteer to help farmers in exchange for a free place to live. Well, I heard about that years ago, but I heard about people being exploited and trafficked with the wolfing, so that's one of the reasons why I never tried it. But a few people have been suggesting that to me lately, but they don't have any opportunities kind of close by or anything like that. So with the wolfing, I mean, as a target individual, we don't really have much opportunity to do anything. And normal, regular people, every, they think everything is easy because everything comes easy for them. So if they feel like everything is easy and normal for them, then it must be, it should be considered easy and normal for you. So, well, like an average person would make it like it's so easy to get a job or so easy to get out of your homeless situation. And so, um, that Alaska prepper guy talked that lingo like he's a Christian. But, you know, he made it like as if for me to be homeless that I ought to be ashamed. He didn't say that, but he, he had an attitude like as if I ought to be ashamed of myself for being homeless. And that I should just go and find up, you know, easily find a place to live right away. You know, I mean, a permanent place to live right away, right away. And so, um... You know, the mainstream media likes to spin the idea that homeless people burn their bridges for, or so they, they try to make it like as if homeless people are sociopathic druggies who burn their bridges from friends and family and, and that they put themselves there in that homeless predicament. And so they make it like it's so easy for a homeless person to get out of that predicament. <clears throat> and so. Um, but one thing, my stomach is hurting so bad, I can't even concentrate. I need, that's one of the reasons why I need to get me some baking soda. I need, I mean, I ran out of baking soda, so I need some more. But, um, I know my diet, the way my diet has been lately is the reason why my stomach is cramping. It hurts. But anyway, um, I can't. And then me being tired and needing more sleep is another reason why I can't even think properly, concentrate, or focus. But um, so you know how being a targeted individual. I told y'all about it, about um the last job interview that I had, well, the last couple of them that I had. Now, I, they'll let you do the interview, but then they'll leave you hanging or you end up not being hired. So, I remember when another professed targeted individual, she sold out and became a perp. Her name is Crystal, <clears throat> and she, um, and so Crystal, when she was being targeted, and she said that they were about to sacrifice her, and so, um, she was, she said she was targeted, and they were about to sacrifice her. And so then um, she hurried up and sold out before they successfully sacrificed her. 
we were trying to help her become a Christian. And, and I didn't know that she was associated with witchcraft at the time. And so, um, so, so, I mean, we were trying to help her get out of her situation, but anyway, she, she, when she had like, when she was trying to break away from her abusive mom and her aunt, I guess I'll just say aunt, because if I say aunt, I mean, I don't know, in New Orleans we say aunt or auntie. So she, her mom and her aunt try to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, her mom and her aunt try to um, sabotage her and try to set her up, stole her um, debit card or stole her money. I don't remember exactly what it was. I mean, no, they stole the keys to her car, I think it was. To, and, and set the I mean and, and then they she had all kinds of complications with trying to get her car fixed and she was trying to get out of Dodge and they were trying to set her up to get sacrificed and also try to make her out to be crazy and trying to make her I mean and try to set her up to um you know be locked up in a mental institution and so then she went from Kentucky to North Carolina to go by this lady's house. And then the, the, she traveled all the way out of state and drove all the way out of state and drove hours to North Carolina just to be told that, you know, basically that she wasn't really wanted over there. And I, I don't remember all the details, but I think I remember she paid the lady, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> but you know she wasted all that time driving all night long to, to from Kentucky to North Carolina and, and so the gang stalker supposedly brainwashed that lady and so the lady must have had to switch her mind or something and so then um you know situations like that it wasn't a woofing situation but Crystal was supposed to go stay by that lady. So, uh, I mean, if you try to, if you're a targeted individual and you try to go live with somebody, or if you try to make a business deal with somebody, then, you know, you have a customer or a client who waits to the last minute to bail out on you. So, um, earlier, they had a guy whose video that I watched it was a very short video and he was saying how you know stop depending on corporations and to run your it's time for everybody and he emphasized everybody to start running their own business and i said well me being homeless without a permanent or stabilized place to live and no car how could i start my own business and so he suggested that i get employed and gain some skill and I'm like, well, that just, I'm thinking that just defeats the purpose of what you were saying. Because, I, I mean, you were telling everybody to run their own business and don't worry about being employed. And now your advice is to me is to get employed. But, you know, I, but I mean, it's not even that simple, especially if you're targeted. And, and you know hundreds of indeed applications they ignore and overlook my application so um or they'll respond months later saying that um that i what you know that I, that unfortunately they move on to the next person and that my application wasn't selected and Sky Zone was the only job I ever got off of Indeed. Any recent job that I got may have come from Craigslist and stuff like that. Um, mainly Craigslist or word of mouth or a sign or something like that. But, um, or through temp service. So, I mean, so, I mean, I'm afraid that if I were to, 
abandon just about all of my belongings and then go to woof with somebody. I'm afraid that I might go tra travel out there. If they might make an arrangement and, a, and agree to have me come out there and then I go out there and they have some excuse for why, you know, they can't take me in. Or, you know, or if they do take me in and then, you know, I'm afraid what if they might exploit or human traffic me? Or if they might have me as a living slave? Or, so, or, or, you know, or, or, or whatever. Or if I might go out there and some, the unthinkable might happen. And, and, you know, one thing about these gang stalkers or people participating in gang stalking and narcissistic, um, narcissistic criminals is somehow they do a lot of crime, but they always show up like with a perfect, clean, slated background check. Like as if you can find no error, no wrong, or about them. Like everything is so perfect. And then you wonder, you know, how the hell this person is a murderer who killed so many people and can get away with it. But then... <clears throat> You, you know, if, if you're a murderer who killed many people, but you got a, such a clean ass back, if you got a background check cleaner than me, that's how I'd be. And, and then, you, you know, I mean, it's like couch surfing and house sitting, they charge a fee in order to join their club and what if I pay that $119 it might cost more now if, if I pay the house sitting fee and um what if I pay the house sitting fee and the and then get selected for no job or turn down each and every one of them like whatever house sitting or if I do get to be allowed to house sit <clears throat> and then a gang stalker might mess with the house without my knowledge like while I'm vulnerable and sleeping say if they might cut off all the water if they might come, come and cut off the water the water supply or something or mess with the water heater or mess with something that's outside or if they might mess with something underneath the house that I'm house sitting for <clears throat> while the owners are on vacation and then the owners get mad and blame me and want to sue me or charge me or something like that for something that I'm innocent or, and, or unaware of. So it seems like you, the target individual being set up, it's like you got to be held responsible for things that you didn't even know or that you weren't aware of. And so... You know, if they might hit you with a direct energy weapons that might knock you clean out, sleep, and then go and do their dirty work, and then you you don't realize that they knocked you out or did something to you with the direct energy weapons, and then next thing you know, you're being forced to take blame for, for what you were unaware of. So... That's my concern, you know, about people talking about how you should go wolfing or whatever. And I, I also told a guy I have published ebooks, but most people, you know, they really don't pay much attention. And I have short stories too that they mostly don't pay attention or they ignore that, you know. So, so I mean they ignore or don't pay much attention to the um to the you know whatever artwork or whatever I try to put out but I see it I, I say this all the time that the more wickedness you promote that's the that's the more clout you get and I get people like me get ignored or overlooked or laughed at 
or get told that I'm such a horrible writer because you don't like the content but you'll think that a person a person who writes you know if a person could write something blasphemous about Jesus and then be told that their style of writing and their grammar and technique and everything is superb and, and all that you know so that's that's how it is so my mind is not all that clear on exactly how I wanted to talk about in this I mean exactly how I wanted to talk in this video you know so uh Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. So, so I mean, earlier, I mean, no, yesterday, I found this nanny website where I applied to work for them. And then they try to say that you will be hindered if you got a bad background check or if you're on some, a global watch list and stuff like that I'm like well me being a targeted individual on the terrorist watch list I guess I don't qualify for being a nanny I don't qualify for being any anybody's nanny so um and bad enough as it is with me being targeted the narcissistic perps make the false smear campaign that candy is not to be trusted around children And so that left me to be traumatized enough that if I'm put in a position where I'm forced to watch a child, then, you know, I feel traumatized and scared to even interact or even, you know, communicate with the child. <clears throat> that if I'm, you know, not to be trusted, but then as a child, I was doggone abused. And nobody said that the foster mom was not to be trusted around children. I mean, would you trust somebody with your child? If if um, how would you feel if 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 you entrusted someone to watch your child? I'm just saying. Or if you find out that your child was in the foster care system, and that foster parent was forcing you to eat out of garbage cans, and um physically abusing and beating on you, forcing you to sleep outside at three years old, practicing witchcraft and the occult on you, putting you in a cult, <clears throat> psychologically and verbally and physically abusing you, and having other people physically abuse and beat on you. I mean, but... Nobody says beware of Adrian Felder. She's not to be trusted around kids. She stole my money. So, um, she stole my money. And, you know, she used to play all kinds of psychological games and tell us that we're going to grow up to be a prostitute and homeless and stuff like that, especially me. So, I mean, would you trust somebody like that to take care of your child? But nah, she got rich off of abusing us. So, I'm not feeling good right now, so I'm going to go for the moment. <clears throat>